This is an introduction of the menu for the AC200 Max. From the home page, the most obvious thing you'll see is the battery percentage. If you click there, you can see how many batteries are connected, each battery's state of charge, whether or not the battery is online, and the battery state. Back on the home page, if you click PV car, you can see the DC input voltage and power. If you click grid, you can see the voltage and power from the wall output or the grid. Below, you can check the AC load, voltage, power, and frequency. And over here, the same information about the DC load, as well as the output from each individual DC function. Back on the home page, you can click this button to turn DC output on or off. And similarly, you can click this button to turn AC output on or off. That's everything on the home page. Let's check out the settings. The first setting is pretty clear. It's language, which can be switched between English or Japanese. The next one is the AC output voltage, which you can click to select between 100 volt, 110, or 120 volt. AC output frequency can be switched between 50 hertz or 60 hertz, but this setting can only be changed when the AC output is turned off. Next is the DC input source. If you are using solar panels, it should be set to PV, but if you're using any other DC input source, such as a lead acid battery, it should be set to others. The next setting, eco on or off. This is just used for energy power consumption to control that and conserve your battery. Click next and you can see the Bluetooth state. We have Bluetooth turned on, but of course you could turn it off if you want. However, you need that on if you want to control your AC200 Max using the Blue Eddy app. Here, you can change the buzzer setting between on or off. This controls whether you receive a buzz during an alarm. The last setting on this screen is the touch sound. If you change the touch sound, you'll no longer get that beep when you change the options. On this last setting screen, you can control the backlight brightness, either by clicking or sliding it back and forth. Here you can change the sleep timer. This determines how long the screen will stay on before it switches itself off. You can choose anything between 30 seconds to five minutes or never. And then the date and time settings. Let's go back to the home page. Next, let's click on the data icon. From here, first choice is the product info button where you can see the model number, your device's unique serial number, and a variety of hardware and software versions. If you click here, you get similar information that you received on the homepage. And we have images of all of these screens on our homepage. BMS maintenance, again, shows the information that we received when we clicked on the battery icon on the homepage. So you've already seen all of this information. If you click alarm history, you can take a look at any alarms that your battery may have received. You can also click here to clear all of the alarm history. Finally, we can click on the alarm button. And from there, 
you can see any current alarms that your AC200 Max is trying to warn you about. In this case, we have none, but you could also click here to clear those alarms. And that is the entire menu of the AC200 Max. As always, we hope you liked the video and we hope you hit the button to subscribe, leave us comments, or feel free to contact us if you have any questions.